pick of mystery man feet from Trump at Memorial Day speech emerges and you won't believe who he island. Three days after President Donald Trump gave a moving Memorial Day speech at Arlington Cemetery, a photo of man who was in attendance that afternoon has emerged. He was seen just feet from where Trump was interacting with special guests when a picture from an onlooker happened to capture him. Now the FBI is involved after finding out who he is and what he was hiding the entire time. To have the opportunity to visit a place as special as Arlington Cemetery is an incredible experience, but to be there with our president on Memorial Day is an event that will never be forgotten. For some guests who were there on Monday this is especially true but for a horrific reason they would rather forget. One man who was there ruined the momentous day with what he thought was hidden. However, at least one witness saw it and reported it to authorities who are now desperate to find this mystery man. With all the necessary security at the cemetery to protect the president who is under a heightened risk of attack, it takes an especially brazen individual to do what this disturbed man did during Trump's address. With his photo now made public along with what he did, it's only a matter of time before this guy gets what he surely has coming to him and it won't be too soon. The Bureau is seeking information about the unidentified individual who the FBI described as a Hispanic male believed to be between 50 and 60 years old in connection with an incident that occurred in the crowd during a wreath-laying ceremony, Fox 8 Cleveland reported. An unnamed adult male allegedly repeatedly inappropriately touched the victim while standing in the crowd. Special agents are referring to what this pervert did as illicit sexual contact with a minor female. Like most people in attendance that afternoon, the girl was there to honor the fallen heroes of this country who lost their lives in the line of duty defending our freedoms. This degenerate took this moving moment to grope people within proximity to him who had no clue that a perverted criminal was there until his dirty hands were on them. It was not only exceptionally violating to the victims but grossly disrespectful to these heroes in the ground beneath him and the people there to pay respect to them for their service and sacrifice. Fox 8 has more. President Donald Trump visited Arlington National Cemetery on the holiday to honor the U.S. service members who made the ultimate sacrifice. He was joined by Vice President Mike Pence, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs General Joseph Dunford and Secretary of Defense James Mattis. It is unclear whether the timing of incident coincided with Trump's appearance at the event. The FBI said the incident took place around 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Trump was scheduled to participate in a wreath-laying ceremony around the same time. The victim was reportedly unknown to the suspect and endured this abuse in silence frozen in fear for what was going on. The attacker is at large and authorities are asking for the public's help in identifying him so he can be brought to justice. He is about 5'5 five five to 5'7 five tall and has short, spiky, grey and black hair, Fox5D.C. reports. He was wearing a blue or grey short-sleeved shirt with dark blue shorts. Those with any information or potential leads into this investigation are urged to contact the FBI's Washington Field Office at 202-278-2000, your local FBI office or the nearest American embassy or consulate. Tips can also be left at https//tips.fbi.gov/, according to Fox 5. It takes an especially vile type of person to take advantage of a girl for his sick sexual dysfunction and to do so at an event designed to honor veterans and fallen heroes of this nation. This man deserves to be slapped with the fullest extent of the law for the crime he committed. He's a disgrace to this nation and the sacrifice of the brave men and women being honored by our president that day. They died for his freedom and he couldn't care less. What could have been a memorable day in the presence of the commander-in-chief for this child? turned into a nightmare she will never forget. If this suspect is an immigrant he needs to be returned to where he came from. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.